What's up everybody man, welcome back to another video with your boy Art over here at Art by Art. Now, a while ago I created this from an Empty Angeles bottle. Uh, later on in my story, I put up who wants to participate in an Empty Angeles bottle challenge. I had a few people say me, put us all in the group chat, and here we are today. I'll show you what those guys did later on in my video. So, as you can see from my thumbnail, what did I create? How did I get the motivation to do it? What did I do? What was the process? Well, I'm going to show y'all right now. Let me tell y'all the story. Yo, so we back at it again with some more empty Angela's bottles. But instead of using these ones, uh, I'm gonna use an empty bottle that I still purchased from Angela's. So I took this bottle and I also went to the Dollar Tree and purchased a bunch of just random toys and whatever I just wanted to use. I also used a bunch of items from around the crib as well. So let's see what we can actually make, guys. So first, you know, I want to wet sand the bottle. Wet sanding the bottle kind of helps keep down all the dust from flying all up in your nose because you don't want that, that's nasty. So I'm gonna take the top of this Advil bottle and I'm gonna see where I want to put it and this makes the perfect sense for it to go. So here I am breaking into my first toy and I'm gonna take these legs. Yeah, my fault, big dog. Here I am putting a hole in the bottle. I'm gonna take a little super glue and put a little baking powder on it. That creates a very strong bun for those of you who do not know, if you wanna try this type of thing at home. Next, I'm just drawing out my upper body because I'm gonna create that with some foam. Trying to figure out what I wanna do, and I don't know if I want to stick it on here, but I decided to actually stick it all the way through in case I wanted to run some wires uh, through this. And using that hot glue right there, just put in a little more detail for me. Here I am busting into the second pack and I'm gonna take these arms this time. And here is the top right here of the bottle. I put some little tips on the end and I'm gonna drill a hole right here in the head because I want some LED lights. Hey, shout out to All Shoes Matter on my Instagram. I bought this LED from him a while ago and I just switched out the light uh, for a bigger light and I'm using it right now in this project. So shout out to him. Uh, at this point, I'm just kind of going to making some details. Uh, you see the arm is sanded, so make sure you sand all those plastic pieces because paint will not stick to them if you do not sand them. Detail time, let's get it. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Uh, this was a headphone from the dollar store. I just chopped it up and used it on the back. So this is what we're looking like so far. Added a few de more details off of camera. Uh, wise words from uh, Bill making stuff. You know, the more things that you put on these bots or whatever that you're doing, the better it will look. It distracts the human eye from the pile of junk that you're using. It just makes it look good. Um, also, shout out to Dr. Toys, man. I watch him too as well, and he uh, highly uh, motivated me to want to try this. And uh, yeah, shout out to you, Dr. Toys. So now it's time to hit this uh, with a little black primer just to blend everything together. Uh, put a little highlight on it, and this is ready for paint. I just wanted to get really colorful on this, but I guess it's just the customizer in me uh, to want to try something uh, colorful with this one. And uh, we'll see how it goes along the way, man. Um, I changed up a, a few things here and there, but overall, uh, I think I'm pretty proud of the way this paint job turned out. What's up? Is editing art. Um, and uh, at this time, I want to take the time out to shout out to these individuals, man, who participated uh, in this empty bottle challenge with me, man. I really appreciate these guys. They're super cool. Make sure you guys go over to their pages on Instagram, check them out, give them a follow, and let them know that your boy Art said, what it do? 
All right, let's get back to the video. It's time to do a little uh, silver dry brushing just to bring out some of this black. I blurred it out because I don't want you guys to see the end results until the end, but let's put it together. And of course, you know, I had to make a base. Uh, I could get a lot better at making these bases, but you know, with time, it's gonna take time, it's gonna take practice. Something that uh, I'm willing to put in uh, for something that I love to do. Taking some foam, chopping it up, using this foam light stuff, man. Uh, this is where uh, things got a little interesting, but um, yeah, we'll see how that turned out in the end. Uh, with this little piece of foam, I'm actually making like a brick wall in the background that I'm gonna make again because the first time, you know, it looks like tile. Uh, bricks are kind of offset, so I had to redo that, which is what I'm doing now. This right here is sculpt mode. Use this to kind of fill in a lot of the gaps uh, that were kind of missing and left and, you know, smooth it out. I should have smoothed it out a little bit more, but again, you know, I'm learning as I go. This right here, I decided to make a flag. I bought this material from Walmart. First, I just draw out the pattern and then I cut out the pattern, kind of rough up the edges a little bit. And here I am trying to get a little fancy. I set it on fire just to see what would happen and things quickly uh, got kind of out of hand. Yeah, about to burn the whole house down. But don't worry about it because your boy Art by Art is a firefighter in my off time. Not really, but uh, I had to do this so I wouldn't burn the house down. But I think it turned out pretty good for the most part. So let's just put some details on this flag, man, stencil wise. And then I'm going to rough it up a little bit with some uh, paint and like Mod Podge and water because I crinkled it up and I wanted it to keep its shape. And here is the final result. So here's the base all nice and dry. Now I'm just trying to put some paint on it. And like I said, I'm, I'm getting better. The more I do this, the better I will get this brick wall. Uh, didn't turn out the way I kind of expected it to, but you know, again, I want to do some color, so I didn't just go for the regular gray and stuff like that. So I paused it so you guys can take a look at how it kind of looks like poop, but I added a few details in it and let me know how you think it turned out. So here it is up close and personal. Um, had a great time making this. You know, I was hoping that the little plastic bags that I made, you know, would help kind of sell the post-apocalyptic waste field uh, look and help it not look like a pile of poop, especially this little one right here. This looks just like, you know, you know what, but hey, my wife said I should sell this. Do you think somebody, do you think you guys like purchase this and have this up posted up somewhere, man? Like, I don't know, let me know in the comments. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, watching another video for me. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreons, man. Without you guys, you guys helped me collect the things from the dollar store that I needed to make this possible, man. So if you guys want to join in on that, man, um, be sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description, man. If that's not your thing, that's cool. Just subscribe to the channel, drop some comments, like the video, do whatever you can to support your boy, and I do appreciate it. So make sure y'all follow me on all my social media platforms. I appreciate you. Keep your head up, stay focused, and enjoy the journey. I'll holler at y'all next time.